when I was 18, I was sort of torn between art and politics, like which to pursue. And I, I couldn't decide. And I was kind of, you know, tossing back and forth. And then one day I had this idea that filmmaking would be a way to combine those two interests of mine. And I was really excited by this idea. I was like, I found it. I found my career path. I was so thrilled. And I wrote a manifesto and I said to all my friends, I'm going to be a filmmaker. And this was my new identity. And I made a bunch of films in college. And then after college, I tried to make a feature in France about the poet Rambeau. And I couldn't get any money for it. And I got really depressed. And then I tried to make a no budget version of it in the States and everything went wrong and that didn't work out at all. And then I tried to make a film about Van Gogh and that completely tanked. And I just got really discouraged about filmmaking. Like the mechanical apparatus was so tricky and difficult and the financing was so onerous and seemed kind of really impossible. And I also started making collages and I was just like, you know, I can make a collage with just like an X-Acto knife, some rubber cement, and a copy of National Geographic. Like I don't need to kill myself making these films that just keep falling apart. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to make films anymore. I'm just going to be a collage artist. And I sold all my film equipment. And I just made collages for about three months. And I don't know, it's kind of boring just to <laughs> cut up pictures and glue them together. And I really missed filmmaking. And I realized I really missed the challenge and the difficulty of it. And I like things that are hard to do. And I had an idea for a film. And that didn't work out either. <laughs> no, I did my next several ideas. And I don't know why I stuck to it. But I did. And at a certain point, it just felt like a, a calling. And I don't think I, I can quit. <laughs>